Hi guys, Seamus here back again with our update on our Ford Escorts. The last Escort has arrived two days early. We'll show it just in a second. Um, our clear coat on both shells have well cured now. So over the next few hours we want to get it masked up and do the black around the trim of the windows and so forth. Same for the Subaru. Um, we'll start work on the interior of the Escort. Got our seats in, our seat belts on, our seats the rubber black. That's what they asked for it. Got a gear shift, our handbrake, and our foot pedals in. These must be some kind of pumps or some sort of filters or whatever. You don't see that actually when it's behind the boot lid, so the point is trying to detail it up sort of thing. On our side, it hasn't been done just yet. Still, we get that all assembled. We got our door cards done. Again, I asked for the matte black, so we've done it the matte black. And our fire extinguishers are done, two of them. One goes in the front. Just here, and the other one goes on behind the driver's seat. There's a bit of chrome goes around that, so we'll do it. Maybe a metal tool chrome or a chrome foil one or the other. We got our wheels done as close as possible until the box art. Right. Let's see, where is the box? I asked for metallic blue. So, I like for the light differences, but that's close to it. So those four pods here, I'll show you them just in a second, um, which are here. They'll get all their SMDs put into them. So we've done the model tool chrome inside, and then obviously got the white on the outside. So they go on the front there, as soon as you in the box. Now the last kit here is the Zach Speed. We'll show it now, just in a second, just bear with me, get a bit of space here. This is the last kit. Uh, number six in the series that I'm building anyhow, which is this one. So again, you don't get those light pods. They do come with it in the kit. Um, so we're just going to build it straight out of the back sort of thing. Those wing mirrors um, are actually different from what's in the kit. You don't get those in the kit. Uh, they're slightly different. Our decals were from Cartograph, so it should lay down pretty well. The weight should stand out it really against the black and so forth. Our shell itself is blue. I thought that I molded it in black at least, but now I had to do it in blue. Uh, I must have reworked, reworked these um, molds because this one here is the cleanest one I've, I've built um, through this series. The, the sixth of them. This will be the sixth one, sorry. You can actually pick out um, the key, key locked and same as the other side. The drop rails on this are nice and crisp. Both sides. Now there's a bit of a faint line at the bottom, but it'll paper out so it will. Same for here. Um, the tops of the uh, wings, fenders, it's pretty sharp on it, so we'll just take them down a wee feather. Um, the only thing I've done to this really is put the front flance on. That's about it. Other than that, it's clean enough, so we're going to get it in the wash, we get it ready for primer and get a top coat of black, gloss black, and then we'll get it decaled, leave it to one side. Um, the rims on that are actually done gold, so they are, let's see if I can get the instructions here. So this one should really stand out with a black and gold sort of thing, as you can see. On top of it, so it should look nice when it's all done. You're going to get a choice on the decals for the blue crosses on the headlamps, or you can do them yellow. So I'm just going to go over the box art as I said, so we get the yellow ones down there. And the blue, so let's go, guys. Quick update on what's happening here at the bench. So, as I say, I'm going to get this in the primer. Um, get a white force eye in the primer and then get it in the top coat and then probably get it decaled up maybe sometime tomorrow right guys it's not filming so thanks for watching i'm gonna speak to you all later bye